moving on. All right. Um, put your hand up if you've ever played an instrument before. Nearly everyone in the room. I first played the guitar in second grade, and the only song that stuck with me was O to Joy by Beethoven. And now I've made a two song song demo. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Wait. Put my cards away. <laughs> okay, great. Wait, just. I'm sorry, that isn't my two song song demo. <laughs> but I'll play one of the songs soon. Don't worry. And now, this is embarrassing. <sighs> Today, I want... Today I want to tell you how music has shown me inspiration, sharing, and pride. What I call ISP are the values that drive me to write and record songs, to learn more about music, and to perform in front of, my in to perform in front of people. These are my motivations in, what I, in which I want to share with you all today. Wait, inspiration for when I was making my two song song demo. Sharing for when I learned knowledge from Shervin, my sound healing course teacher. And finally, pride for when I share songs with other people. In this speech, I'll be showing you how music affects the brain, the body, and my journey that I went through to make my two songs. For Quest, I wanted to make a 10 song song album but then I realized that would have been a little bit too ambitious. So then I decided to do something, and the end product would not have sounded that great. So then I chose a better option, quality over quantity, and decided to do two songs instead of 10, and concentrate only on those two songs as time went on. The first song, For Us, is about friendship, and it was inspired by seventh grade camp, in which I performed one of my first songs, Tropical Paradise. <laughs> And to my surprise, everyone seemed to enjoy my performance. <laughs> it is also how we should cherish our memories we have made with our friends. The second song, Time, is about sustainability and how we should take care of the Earth. And if we don't, Earth would just become a polluted wasteland. It was originally supposed to be about social justice and stress, but then I changed my mind and changed the song's meaning to be about sustainability. I was so inspired while writing and recording these songs. But before I go into the details of recording these songs, I want to share my guitar backstory. I began to play the guitar when my bapu gave me my first, uh, gave me a small mini turquoise guitar. But my love for reading began when my mom handed me a copy of Harry Potter. This helped open up my imagination but, and began my love for reading. But since I didn't have anything else to do, my parents enrolled me into private guitar lessons to the school I attended to when I was in second grade. A few years down the line, and I'm in middle green school, playing in the middle school band. I wanted to play the drums, but since there was already a better drum player, I only occasionally got to play. But what I did get to play was a guitar. And I told my parents about playing the guitar, and they hired a guitar teacher, Memo, to teach me more. That was a voice track. It was only a few months after that I made my first song. It was called Bees, and although it was my first song and it wasn't the best, it inspired me to continue more with new songs. I loved the satisfaction that came after playing songs, so I decided to make more. Making the first song on the album, which I'm going to play soon, was pretty hard to do. It went through two different concepts, one about being the earth, then one about being friendship, until I decided to settle on one, friendship. The only thing is, I kind of forgot how to create songs, as I hadn't made any songs within the past six months, so I almost lost the ability to do so. I just didn't know what lyrics to put in, and it was really hard to do. But the songs after I made for us were a lot easier, as I remembered how to make songs properly. And Time, I would say, was my favorite song to make. We also made three songs, but only two got in. So, yeah. Recording the songs was tedious. So many revisions, and even if I made one mistake, we'd have to start all over again. That slow thought aside, recording, song, recording the songs was so much fun, even when my fingers started to cry to their moms. We, f <laughs> we first did the instrumental part of the song, which I would say is the hardest part, because you, ha because you have to stay perfectly on tempo for the whole song. But after that, we did the vocals. I'm a bit insecure about my voice, but during recording, I didn't mind that I had to sing. I quite enjoyed it, actually. But to learn and inspire me more, I went to a sound healing course. 
In this sound healing course, I learned many things. Some of these things coming from a book called The Tower of Sand by Fabiana and Maman and Terran Unsold. I learned that a tuning fork, which is only 20 decibels, this is a tuning fork with, without sound, sound, can change the structure of cells. Okay. If a tuning fork can change cell structures, then what can a gong do? A gong can obliterate cancer cells in under 20 minutes. That's right cancer cells. But you know what can do better? What do you think it is? The human voice. And it can explode cancer cells in under nine minutes. This is because the human voice is a consciousness and is part of the human body. I also, I also learned about overtones. They, they, they are the aftersound produced by an instrument, such as the gong. I mean, that's why violins and cellos exist today. They have overtones in which non-electronic instruments do not possess. I also, learn about co I also learn about how music can enhance cognitive abilities. As a quote from The Psychological Functions of Music Listening says, how might music enhance cognitive abilities? It's not clear, but researchers speculated that listening to music helps organize the firing of nerve cells in the right half of the cerebral cortex, the part of the brain responsible for higher functions. According to this construct, music, or at least some forms of music, can help <laughs> can help um, process more information more efficiently. Music can also alter human emotions. As a quote from British drama artist William Congreve put it in 1697, music has a chance to soothe a savage beast. When I, when I invested more time into song making was when I won a talent show in seventh grade camp. I was surprised by my peers' reactions because they actually appeared to like my song. Oh, okay. Sharing songs, in my opinion, is my favorite stage of songwriting. After all my hard work and determination, I finally get to share my songs with people all over and around the world. And now I'm gonna share my song for us with you guys. <laughs> okay, um, so first, like, yeah. Hello? Yep. <laughs> okay.
Thank you. My, I don't know why, but my sides really started to hurt when I started singing. It, wow. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to listen to the, like, I don't know, non-live performance part, you can search on my songs on YouTube, Spotify, and SoundCloud. All you have to do is search up my name, Jordan Zenyu, on either of these sites, and my songs will come up. And that's it. I have to give my thanks to all the people who helped me during Quest. Um, my mom and dad for helping me pushing through all the hard times I've had. Um, Mamo for being there while I'm making my songs and teaching me all I know about the guitar. Shervin for being my sound healing course teacher and teaching me sound healing course teacher and being and helping me mix more sounds into my songs to make them feel more full and for being a great source of encouragement. Uh, Bennett for helping me write and reproduce my songs. My teachers for helping me for helping me come up with ideas for when I first began. Paxak for helping me write my speech and giving me some key suggestions. And thank and finally and my and finally my Ye and Papu for giving me the small mini turquoise guitar that struck the fire that is today. And finally thank you for listening. And that was my quest. Yeah.